Hey guys, this is Ish, and we're going to talk about uh, five different bullets that we have for the AR-15 chassis, or, or the frame. Um, we'll start with, we've got a 223 5.56 here. This one's a 55 grain. We've got the 6.5 Grendel right here, and it is in 123 grain. We got a 6.8 SPC, it's in 120 grain. We got uh, the 300 Blackout here, and we also have the 50 Beowulf, and it's this one I think is a 325 grain. Um, so th there's different applications and there are different uses for the weapons, um, but for the most part, a lot of them uh, are pretty close to the same. So some of the arguments I've seen is, well, the 6.5 is different use of 223, uh, 6.8 is different from 6.5. They do have some differences in them and we'll, we'll actually talk about it, but they also have the same application. So you're taught in the military that the uh, maximum effective range of a point target for uh, 223, 5.56 is 550 meters. Uh, that's not necessarily true. Uh, you get the right barrel length. Uh, you know, you get yourself an 18 inch or above, you get your 75 grain, that's moving pretty hot. You, you can still shoot out there at 800, just like you can with the 6.5. Um, so this, this uh, bullet's actually used in the military law enforcement, we all know this. Um, you know, it's probably one of the most popular bullets out there. Um, so the 6.5 itself, the 6.5 Grendel, is a, a lot more accurate bullet out at those ranges, but it can still be used for up close battle. Um, they, the AR model, it holds uh, 25, uh, 25 bullets in the magazine instead of 30. It's only five less, and it, it can be used the same application as the 223, and that's the same thing with the 6.8. Later on, we'll, we'll be showing you a video of us shooting 800 yards with the 6.8 and the 6.5 both of them are hitting the target well. Yes, a 6.5 is a little bit more accurate. It's a little bit easier to do the bullet solution and get it on target, but the 6.8 will do it. Now, the 300 blackout's a little bit different. The 300 blackout, uh, you can probably get, uh, you know, well, we have a video of us shooting 300 yards. It's holding a pretty good grouping, so you can probably get it out there five, 600. Now, because of how slow it's moving, it's really losing a lot, a lot of its uh, velocity, and uh, it's affected by the elements a, as it gets out there. Just like the 223 is affected by the elements because it's so light. And uh, the 50 Bell Wolf is completely different from all of them. At 200 yards, this drops 13 inches. So this bullet right here obviously is for up close, uh, and that's about it. Uh, obviously because it weighs so much and it's moving so slow. So that's the different applications and things I just wanted to kind of talk about the weapon systems. Um, you know, it depends upon the barrel that you put on them, uh, what kind of grain, kind of bullet, how fast you got the bullet moving, um, what it's going to do. But these three right here all do basically the same thing. Neither one of them is really considered as a sniper round. So these bullets right here, the three, they... They basically all do the same thing. Uh, some, you know, 6.5 is probably the most accurate out of them. They all three can do 800 yards. Uh, 6.5, you can get up to a thousand, maybe even 1,200 yards. Uh, I've never tried it, but you might be able to do it. Uh, these two right here can't shoot very far, but uh, you know, they're good for up close. Like, share, subscribe. God, family, country, all in that order. Have a good one.